hello everyone. If you've ever been updating templates created by others or edited in your own project with new media assets, most likely at some point you've been hitting head into a wall. Tediousness of adjusting variously sized assets to fit or fill the placeholder is always there, always boring. In this tutorial I will cover how to achieve it effort free with expressions. Every new update won't make you anxious anymore. That said, let's jump ahead. This mosaic will illustrate a composition and its boundaries. So as you know, composition has width and height. And once we import the asset into the composition, it won't necessarily fill the whole composition boundaries. But most often, we need to have such functionality in place. What happens is we then manually need to adjust the size to fit the height or in other case, to fill the whole composition boundaries. So of course it depends on the resolution and ratio of that imported asset, but assuming that we have a full HD composition with 16 and 9 ratio and we import square, this is what we have if we add small item and uh, then we need to upscale it either this way or this way manually. The whole idea of expression which I'm going to introduce here, if you add an asset of different size into the same composition, it will fill this or this way automatically, disregarding on the resolution and pixel ratio of the asset imported into the... So even if it sounds more complicated than it is, I will make sure to cover this fast and uh, hopefully this will be helpful for you. So to begin with, we have an already created composition and I will add item to scale up or down in this situation. So you can see that we have a smaller item in the composition. So we need to upscale it by height or by width in order to fill all the boundaries in order to scale the content properly. To do this, we need to apply expression for the scale. So we just alt click on the stopwatch and begin writing the expression accordingly. The whole idea of this execution is to compare composition size with the layer size, check its ratios, and then based on the results, apply the scaling value accordingly. So for this to work, we need to have comp width as well as comp height. As I mentioned, in addition to the comp sizes, we need to get layer sizes as well. Once we have those values, we need to find out the ratios between composition width and the layer width, as well as composition height and layer height. So ratio for width will be composition width divided by the layer width and we will do for the same for the height as well so we will take composition height divide by layer height in this case we have two ratios and we will know whether a layer is bigger or smaller than the actual composition size we need original scale value to be set so we will just set it to 100 as originally all layers are set and here's how I approach this further. Once in the ratios we will calculate the layer width updated by one of the ratios so we just take layer width and multiply it by, by the ratio of height and then just do comparison between layer width updated and composition width. If it appears that the layer width is bigger than the composition width, we calculate the scale value by taking the original scale value of 100 and multiplying it by the ratio width. Otherwise, we are doing the same but multiplying by the height. Since scale is 2D array, we need 
to take the scale new value and apply it into the array twice. So this expression scales the layer by the closest composition width or height, whichever is smaller that will be the main driver for the layer size. It will scale up to that value. If we want to upscale to fill the all composition boundaries, then we just do the following. I will duplicate this composition. And instead of scaling by the width here, we will scale by the height and here by the width. And you can see that we are upscaling the image to fill the whole composition boundaries. What will happen if we change the composition size? You should have guessed it that I have a way it will upscale and won't lose the ratio accordingly. What will happen if I turn this off and apply this one? You can see that it remained, it remained the same. So in other words, this expression fills by the layer width or height by fitting whole item in the composition and the second option scales it to fill all composition disregards of its size. So let's just go to the full HD. And I will show you the main reason why I find out about this expression myself. So imagine that you have a composition uh, and you want to update this layer with new content. I have huge image here. And what if I just simply replace it on top? You can see that image scales and fills the composition ideally. And what happens if I do this with the, this example, it will fit in instead of scaling. And this is handy if you want to update the assets dynamically without being the one which updates assets in the project. So depending on the asset type and the placeholder type, if you know that your placeholder should contain full image size, for example, if it's profile image of person, so you don't want to scale it to lose its forehead, you would use this expression and uh, this disregards what type of item you add, you will make sure that it will remain properly fitted. And uh, if we have a different type of composition, it will maintain its size properly. And in this example, you can see that it upscaled and fit in without a need to manually adjust. And what would happen if I add this image just plainly into the comp? It is full sized and you can see it doesn't fit in properly into the comp. From one perspective, it fills the composition, but uh, you can see that there are excessive amount of data which is lost. Of course, you could achieve this by command, option, shift, and G or H to achieve the same, but you, as you can see, you need to do this manually. And in case if you have tons of compositions, you would need to open all of them and do this manually. So instead, you just apply one of the following expressions and you are good to go. So you can see the scaling is different and the image, if I showcase you this, I am clicking those um, Command, Alt, Shift, G or H options and you can see the scaling value is exactly as it should be to either fit by height or width or just fill the whole composition boundaries. And talking about fitting, if you ever need to have text which should be fitted into specific uh, areas, you should consider the template I created recently. It's called Boxer and you can see it allows to fill the text in text boxes and scale them. Pretty cool stuff. 
so it's also about the scaling and fitting content just not the media itself but the text and text boxes make sure to apply those expressions whenever you can for the placeholders which clearly requires either fill or fit the item in that composition and uh, this is very important for repetitive tasks which will definitely will be reused 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 and reused all over again so with these two expressions you can save your time quite significantly and uh, keep your sanity for more creative work rather than this type of things so uh, i hope this will be useful for you in one or another way so thanks for time and i hope to see you around